Our first guest is building a massive brand that Hollywood is ready to bet on. Dominique Fishback and her new series, Swarm. It's the number one show on Amazon Prime right now. Right now, right now. So, so the hashtag with Swarm has somewhere around 13 million TikTok views. Okay, so, so Swarm is the newest project from writer, director, producer, the great Donald Glover. Uh, the Emmy and Golden Glove winning mastermind behind the series uh, Atlanta. So here's the deal. Dominique plays a crazed super fan. Her name is Dre. She's obsessed with her favorite pop star. The obsession takes a lot of twists and turns. A lot of people have not slept since this series dropped. Take a look. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that new Cody Blaze album's all right, right? I'm feeling that Toronto sound for sure. Cody Blaze has a total of one Grammy. Naja has 26. Oh. <laughs> you think Cody Blaze is better than Naja? I don't know. Then why did you say she could die? What? You said she could die tomorrow and you wouldn't miss one song. Laughing emoji. <laughs> so, my hands are shaking right now. So here's what, that's kind of how the Tan Fam is about me though. Don't, don't, don't say anything about me, the Tan Fam will come for you. Like, so here's the deal, people have said this about Dominique's performance. Um, they are saying that it's a 10 out of 10. Dominique Fishback, all the awards they say she deserves for this performance. Um, two scenes that everyone's talking about. I don't want to give too much away because this series is so huge. Let's bring out the woman whose brand Hollywood is betting on, Dominique Fishback. Come on out! has not stopped talking about you. Have you been reading the tweets over the weekend? I have been reading. Have I've, you been as afraid as I have? Because they're obsessed with you. <laughs> no, I haven't been afraid. I was, <laughs> I was happy that they were enjoying the show. All right, so let's just get to the meat of this. Yes. Um, Dre, your character yes. is obsessed with a pop star. Yes. You have read all of the articles. People say it's Beyonce based. Uh -huh. That the swarm is the beehive. Uh -huh. And that Naja is the... Beyonce character. Uh -huh. Is this about Beyonce <laughs> and the Beehive? No, it really isn't. I think in order for us to, uh, I think, relate to it more, you have to see somebody that we know as a society how much we love Beyonce. Yes, we do. Right? And in, in, in this show, it's like an a alternate universe if Beyonce didn't exist and it was this woman named Nyjah. Nyjah. Okay. Yeah. Because there was an article that said they found 22 examples of <laughs> how this is actually about Beyonce, including, I think, the tour that the, the, the fictional character, she's on uh -huh. the Running Scared tour. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Which, that's the hair. I mean, you don't see any similarities? I mean, I didn't write the show. <laughs> Donald Glover in him. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So Chloe Bailey is also a part of this all-star yes. cash. Uh, Dasmond Idris, Damson. Billy Eilish, Damson. Everybody's in this, and Chloe is the protege uh -huh. of Beyonce. Yes, she is. A lot more oh. coincidences here. You look beautiful together. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Well, I will tell you when uh, Donald told me about the show. They, they wanted me to play Marissa, which is the character that uh, Chloe ends up playing. Yeah. So it wasn't in a world where this was always going to be. They wanted me to play Marissa because they said, we've seen you yeah. in these movies and you usually play characters that are really uh, likable, easy to love, so that's why we wanted you for this. But when I read the script, I was like, man, I want to I want to. You want to get in there. So, so the actor. challenge would be to play a serial killer. Would be to play a, a character that is uh, almost like a, a Joker, like Heath Ledger got to do, or yeah. monster like Charlize Theron. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, Joaquin yeah, Phoenix. Absolutely. So we don't really get that opportunity as, as women and women of color, and so when I saw it, I was like, Man, uh, I want to I want to challenge myself. I want to be the artist that God created me to be. I love that, and I read that quote that you said that. You know, um, we have another clip. This one, Paris Jackson uh -huh. is also a part of this incredible ensemble of actors. Let's play the clip. Okay, look, not to be weird, but I feel like really connected to you. Like, I understand what it feels like to not be accepted. 
live out of a suitcase and not have any friends. I mean, I ran away from my last relationship because he couldn't accept me being black. You're black? Yeah. My dad's half. Half what? <laughs> okay, so... The movie, there's a lot of tongue in cheek in that. So for people, Paris Jackson is Michael Jackson's daughter. Uh -huh. When I'm thinking about you all doing that scene uh -huh. where there chuckles behind the scene, because the irony yeah. here, obviously, uh -huh. is no, that. There weren't any, any, any chuckles. I mostly, when I knew that Paris was doing it, I was actually really excited because I thought it was uh, really powerful. I, I think um, to be able to, like, uh, take something that might have been a joke in the past and like and own it. Which she does beautifully. Yeah, she's I had so a chance good to in see the her at her at the musical. Uh, MJ the musical. Yeah, she's she does so a great amazing. job in it. She's such a nice person. She's so open and I just had the best time. I feel so blessed. It seems like you all had a great time yeah. behind the scenes. The, the series is great, but behind the scenes, I saw the tweet that Billie Eilish uh, oh, put up over the weekend yeah. showing love. It, it was a really, and is a great ensemble of actors here. Yeah, I got really lucky. I think it was bittersweet when every person would leave because essentially Dre goes and there's different uh, characters that she meets throughout the series. But uh, knowing that one would leave and then somebody else came that brought a different energy and I've gotten so many amazing people in my life oh. because of it. Yes. Well, you've earned it. Well, coming up, Thank you. I'm going to tell Dominique the film that I saw her in that had me standing up in my home cheering. And she's about to join one of the biggest franchise in movie history. The franchise is worth somewhere around $5 billion. Can you guess what franchise she's joining after the break? You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. And if you don't know, now you know. film Transformers Rise of the Beast set to release in June. You will be the first black woman ever in the franchise yeah. history. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, first of all, I, I did not realize that. And it's a point of great pride, I'm sure. Absolutely. That's incredible. Five billion, five billion dollar blockbuster franchise. film set franchise. Yeah. You know, it, it was a uh... It's so funny, when I was younger, I'm from Brooklyn, I'm from East New York, and hey! <laughs> I would watch uh, movies like Transformers and say, man, I want to do that. I hope to do that, I pray to do that. And di I didn't know that it would actually be Transformers. Like, something like Transformers, but for it to actually be Transformers is just amazing. I love it. Anthony, and Anthony's from Anthony, Brooklyn, Anthony he's my Ramos, boy. He's yes. amazing. So great. We fell in love with him on many projects, but of, yes. of course, Hamilton. So did you have to do, like, physical? Because I think Transformers is more than meets the eye. You got to run, you got to jump. I mean, yes. what was it like preparing for the role? Uh, it's so funny. There's so many bloopers of me, like, tripping. I would, like, run out. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Um, um, but it was it was a lot of fun. And Stephen Cable Jr., who directed it, let us bring our own like energy, our own swag to it. So I'm really excited for the new take. I mean, once you join a franchise like this, people, I said, you know, your brand, your brand is so vast. Thank you. Um, I fell in love with you. I teased it before the break. The last days of Ptolemy Gray. Oh, Ptolemy Gray, yeah. I Thank with you. With Samuel L. Jackson. Yes. I I I could not. Stop watching it. After every episode, I'm like, okay, I need the next one. I need the next one. It chills. was brilliant. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about. What do you see as your brand now? Because you've got Transformers, you've got this, you've got Swarm. What is the brand now? Now, I read this book uh, called the, uh, the Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell, and it talked about just the different archetypes of a hero. And I said, oh, well, I want to be the heroine with a thousand faces because I don't want to get put in a box. I want to be able to do any genre in any way. And so that's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Thank you. And I, I just shouted out my mom's birthday. You have a birthday coming up. Yeah, my birthday's tomorrow. Tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> yes. So here you are at this young age, living the dream. You're yes. celebrating which, what birthday? 32. You're 30. <laughs> 
like, he's like, like 21. I'm like, I was like, wait a minute, 21, 22? You know what's so funny? I've always wanted to be a child star, and I used to be like, oh, man, I want to do that. And now I feel like I'm child star adjacent because I keep playing teenagers. <laughs> So I get to do it. I get to have it both now, so, so I'm happy. <laughs> what, what are the birthday plans? Because here you are on Cloud Nine, number yeah. one streaming. You're trending. Yeah. You're everywhere. You got this. What's the birthday plan? So I'm. Ha I'm. Ha I am gonna have a party in Brooklyn. Well, with my family. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So we're gonna do that. It's reggae. It's reggae theme. Oh, it's reggae theme. It's, a, it's like a bachelor party. Yeah. Okay. Little, little, little. Reggae theme. And yes. who is your favorite reggae artist? Are you like what? Oh, you know, I, I kind of just like old school reggae. Oh, okay. You know, I like like Flex and like Murder She Wrote. Oh. Like, you know, you're taking me back there, yeah. So, but I also love Pirate of the Caribbean by uh, Chris Martin. That's one of my favorite songs. So when we <laughs> hear the music blasting from Brooklyn, we know it's your party. 100%. <laughs> we know. 100%. Well, happy, beautiful birthday. Thank you so and congratulations. Much. Thank you for having me. This is well so much fun. Success. Thank you, guys. You deserve it all. Dominique is in Swarm, streaming on Prime Video now.